Guys, it finally happened. After all, all this time, Mitsubishi finally realized something very, very important. This comes straight from their North American CEO, uh, Fred Diaz, his own admission. These are his very words. Well, first, maybe some backstory. So if you don't know, Mitsubishi has been struggling with sales in the US for a very long time recently. And for good reason. We'll get into that in a moment. Um, Fred Diaz, the CEO of Mitsubishi North America, admitted that it is due to and I quote, very poor awareness as a brand. You don't say, like you, you're, you're just now, you're just now realizing this, Mitsubishi, just now? After all this time and all the things, enthusiasts and your customers have been telling you for a while, you're just now realizing that you have very poor brand awareness? Yes, yes, you have the worst brand awareness. You, not only did you kill off your two most exciting vehicles you had on the line, you tried to bring them back as a freaking crossover SUV. No, like sure, make a new SUV. Don't kill off your sports car and then try to bring it back as an SUV. That's not gonna go over well with anyone. And likewise, it hasn't. Which is why Mitsubishi has been struggling with sales. Uh, I'm just gonna read a quote. So, this next part is coming from Mitsubishi's communications senior director, Jeremy Barnes. Um, and this is what they talk about they're gonna do to help change the brand and help revitalize it and bring some new exciting vehicles back to I hope it means new exciting vehicles, we'll see. But they're gonna start with the insides, which is actually the way you should do it. If you really want to reform or restructure or reinvent your brand, you need to do it from the inside, starting with your employees. And that's actually what Mitsubishi is gonna do. I'm gonna read the, ex the excerpt from Jeremy Barnes. As we bring a new worker to the company, maybe someone who has come from a high tech background or a smaller company, maybe not in the corporate world, and they're used to different work styles and different work schedules, we want to make sure we can accommodate all of the people we are trying to attract. It really is a complete reinvention of everything that we do in the US. Whether it's looking at a new organizational structure, whether it's changing job functions based on our new approach to the future of our growth. Employee culture is going to be absolutely critical. So let me just take a moment to commend you, Mitsubishi, because correct, employee culture is absolutely critical to having a well-functioning business. So I'm glad that they realize this and they're doing stuffing to change it now rather than coming out with another crossover SUV. What is this going to look like for Mitsubishi corporate headquarters for the employees at Mitsubishi and what can we expect to come from Mitsubishi in the coming future? Well, they don't say much about the details, but they do explain how they want to change things around the Mitsubishi uh, headquarters and their offices. So I'm gonna read a little bit more. Mitsubishi plans to institute a flexible work schedule instead of a typical nine to five setup and a more relaxed dress code. So that sounds pretty good, it sounds pretty cool. Um, there's an, there's talks of moving to an open layout instead of cubicles found in the old office, uh, more collaborative work areas to reduce the scourge of closed door office meetings, and bottomless cups of free coffee. Okay, okay, so it sounds like Mitsubishi's taking a page out of Silicon Valley, out of Google's or you know any of the other tech companies that have really fun, really upbeat workplaces that people love to work for. Mitsubishi's taking that page and they're applying it to their business model and I hope it pays off for them. But right now, Mitsubishi plans to move their current plant in California over to one in Tennessee. That means more jobs, that's a good thing. And they're finding ways to, oh, that's gonna be pretty cool. Mitsubishi has a game plan and they're gonna be following it. They'll be changing the structure, they're gonna be changing employees, they're gonna be changing the workplace as a whole. And let's hope it pays off for them. Let's hope they can revitalize themselves and bring us the awesome Japanese cars we know they can make because they used to make them all the time. There was a point in time where Mitsubishi was at the top of the game. They had a lot of really cool cars, 
lot of technologically advanced cars, good performance cars, they were winning races, you know, they were doing good things. People loved them. And then they fell off. But just to talk about things, just to give you an idea of just how far Mitsubishi has fallen from its glory days. Um, Mitsubishi's plan to crank up its sales in the US, which totaled under 96,000 through the first nine months of this year. That's it. For the entire brand, for the entire Mitsubishi company, they only sold 96,000 units in the first nine months of this year. Put that in perspective, Nissan sold more Rogues alone in the first three months than the whole Mitsubishi brand sold today. In nine, sorry. Mitsubishi sold 96,000 units in the first nine months. Nissan, with just their Rogue lineup, sold more than that in three months. That's huge. But that shows you just how far Mitsubishi has fallen. And we, we knew it was coming. They kept making really stupid decisions. They weren't listening to their customers. They weren't listening to the car enthusiasts. They weren't listening to anyone. They were just pretty much pulling ideas out of their ass, basically, at this point. One of the ways that Mitsubishi plans to do this is they're actually going to shift to use more Nissan components. So if you guys didn't know that, Mitsubishi and Nissan do have a partnership, um, much like Nissan and Renault, or actually Nissan and, and Mercedes, um, or BMW and Toyota. So Mitsubishi plans to use a little bit more Nissan Bones. Um, currently, the, only, the main one that uses Nissan Bones is the Outlander, which is based on the Rogue, surprising enough. Um, but who knows what's gonna happen once you know once all things are said and done. So I think this is cool I thought it was really interesting to hear that Mitsubishi is talking of reinventing themselves and bringing it back and I want to share that with you guys because not many people are talking about it And I thought it'd be a cool thing cool quick little hangout one-on-one -on -one type of thing talk about cars So what do you guys think this means for Mitsubishi? What do you think it means? for the cars coming from Mitsubishi soon, and how do you think this will play out in the next year? Um, you think we're gonna see rumors of some cool concept cars? Are we gonna see more EVs? Are we gonna see them bringing back some of their great cars they used to have, like the 3000 GT VR4 or Lancer Evolution, the original Eclipse, not the new crossover nonsense, uh, a, a new Starion or something? You know, that'd be really cool. Mitsubishi has an opportunity to compete with Toyota and the Supra, and they have an opportunity to compete with, um, drink Blake here, Toyota slash Subaru with the BRZ GT86 twins, like a new star on, would be perfect to go up against those two. Um, and they have room to bring back, you know, the evolution, you know. Subaru's WRX STI is still going strong. There's no reason why the Evo wouldn't be doing just as good if it was still around. There's still plenty of people that still want them. So hopefully this means that, needs, that Mitsubishi has some really cool plans up to sleeve. I hope it does. Let us know in the comments below what you think this means for Nissan. Wanted to do a little quick talk video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. So remember to go out there, do something awesome. Check out our new website. We are updating the site every single day with new products. We now offer for our LS based uh, viewership out there, we are now offering some parts for the LS engine. So you can get intake manifold, uh, you can get cams, you can get um, some other things that I'm drawing a blank right now. But we're adding more and more products every day and so check it out. All the support goes right back into the channel to build the 5.3 because I want to get that build done. Like I want to get the engine in a car, turn it on, and shred some freaking tires. So if you're excited to see that, hit the link in the description below, buy a shirt, buy something, help us get this car sooner than later. Once again, thank you so much for checking this video out. We really do appreciate it. Remember to drop us a like, subscribe if you have not already, and um, we will see you guys next time. Go out there, do something awesome. Peace.